Come, my lady, come, come, my lady. You're my butterfly, sugar, baby. Come, my lady, come, come, my lady. You're my butterfly, sugar, baby. Such a sexy, sexy. Da 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 da. Iga baga doo, da ga diga da ga doo. Remember this song, right? <laughs> Crazy Town. Was there one big hit? What's the song called? Uh, isn't it just called Butterfly? Butterfly. Yes, of course. They only say it 4,000 times in the song. And uh, she got him sprung with her tongue ring. That's how you can tell this is from 1999. And the guy at the front of the band, a uh, guy named uh, Seth Binzer, was his uh, Christian name. But he went by Shifty Shell Shock. And he had a tough time, boy. Uh, this guy's late 40s, and he was already on Celebrity Rehab some years ago, and, you know, uh, they really blew up from this song. They were on a bunch of festival tours in the early aughts, uh, but it didn't hang out for them, and so they kind of have this uh, song to their name, but uh, Shifty Shellshock has popped up again. I guess he heard uh, Puddle of Mud cover Nirvana and said, hey, hold my beer, Puddle of Mud. You remember Puddle of Mud covering Nirvana? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, um, the hell's this guy's name? <laughs> Wes, Wes uh, Sorry, Wes Scantlin uh, from Puddle of Mud. You know, um, he was on this show not long after this, and I didn't really want to break his balls about it, but I think we did discuss it. We we mentioned it, I think. Yeah, you he, did. He him. was like, I had a bad day. He said he had, had a bad day. Yeah. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then he was in town to a show. He has since gotten himself into more trouble. Whatever. He, he did. Ever, we all have what bad days. What did he days, do? Right? I punched somebody. I don't know. We talked about it like a couple weeks ago. Uh, he got in trouble again. Anyway, Shifty Shellshock has shown up. Do you see this video on uh, Twitter? Oh, I saw it, yes. Oh, wow. Boy. He has had. And this is his own song. Some, he's done some hard living. Anyway, uh, he was at Norman's Rare Guitars, if you are familiar with uh, the greater Los Angeles area. I know we have some Bureau Chiefs out there. Uh, Norman's Rare Guitars is a world-famous uh, guitar shop. It's out there in Tarzana, not far from Calabasas, which pound cakes ears will prick up. Uh-huh. Mentioned Calabasas, but Tarzana and Sino, that area out there. And I get the vibe that this was not planned. I feel like there's a couple dudes just playing guitars, and Shifty Shell Shock walks in and goes, I'm the guy from Crazy Town. Um, you can tell his teeth are gone. Um, he had a couple DUIs last summer. I don't know. I don't know if this guy. Maybe he's a rake about town. Maybe he's always popping up around L.A. If you're watching the uh, live stream here, I'll show this to you. Sugar mama, come and dance with me. The smartest thing you ever did was take a chance with me. Whatever tickles your fancy, girls me and you like sitting nasty. Okay, so the guy looks like he's 110 years old. Whoa. He's he had a hard time. Did he have issues or something? You might say yeah. that. He was on Celebrity Rehab Oh, a I didn't of know any times, of that, yeah. You know. uh, but yeah, it looks like, I mean, you, that's why it's so sad when you hear um, towards the very tail end of Lane Staley's life. The last few songs he recorded, you could tell most of his teeth were gone. <clears throat> I think MTV Unplugged is a pretty good example of that. That he was so deep in it that his he didn't have many of his own teeth left. Um, Lane Staley recorded a cover of uh, Another Brick in the Wall. It was a little super group. There was a movie back in the day called The Faculty. And it was Elijah Wood. John Stewart was in it. The teachers had been taken over by aliens and were true. You remember the faculty? Do you remember this? I watched You that, guys were yeah. younger when it was, yeah. But it was all the, it was all the big stars of the day. So it was like Josh Hartnett and I think Usher was like in it and whatever. And they did, they had a super group called Class of 99 and it was Tom Morello, Stephen Perkins. It was Lane Staley. And if you've heard that song, it's very obvious that Lane Staley's teeth are all gone. And so he's just kind of mush-mouthing his way through um, through that song. And that's the vibe I get here from uh, Shifty Shellshock. I hope the guy's okay. I mean, he's still vertical. Uh, but other than that, I, I, I don't know how often people have seen um, uh, him pop up anywhere. 
But there it is. Shifty shell shock Seth Binzer. Here, I'll give you a little uh, piece of the, because I think I found it. Oh, yeah, that, uh, that uh, super group, uh, another brick in the wall there with Lane Staley. I mean, you can tell it didn't even sound like him. It uh, doesn't even sound like Lane Staley. <clears throat> Almost imperceptible. Uh, a guy is suing B-dubs, by the way, because he says their boneless wings are just chicken nuggets. I want to join in on this. How is he the last guy on the planet to know this, that boneless wings is just marketing? They're just chicken nuggets. Now, I'm, I get my hamburgers boneless. I'm not complaining about it. I demand when I order a hamburger that the bones from the cow have been removed. Well, don't go to Big Billy's Burger Buffet. You sell chicken there. Yes. Yeah. You know, you, but the bones are in it. The The only place you're going to find a burger is in the name. Mm-hmm. And it's in international waters, so you can do whatever you want. Yep. A man in Chicago is filing suit. Class action against Buffalo Wild Wings. We got one right back here. Other side of our building is a B-dubs. I always forget that it's back there. Me too. I've never been to it. I think the only time I've ever been to a B-dubs is like if I was there in a professional capacity. If I had, like, some appearance at a Buffalo Wild Wings, but I don't think I've ever eaten their food. I eat B-dubs <clears> a lot <throat> on the road. I eat, I eat chains more on the road because it's safe. Like, I know what I'm going to get at a B-dubs or an Applebee's or whatever. It's relatively the same price, and you're getting a chicken wrap, you know? You like my, my kingdom for a Chili's. Sure. When you're out there on the road. So this guy uh, apparently thinks he's really pulling back the curtain that the boneless wings are just chicken nuggets. So he's filed suit. I don't know who the other people are in the class action lawsuit. He says it gives people the false impression that they are bona fide chicken wings. Well, people have free time on their hands. A lot of free time on their hands. Uh, filing frivolous lawsuits, I guess. I don't know if he expects to get some settlement from B-dubs. Maybe he will. I wonder if they could pay him. I wonder if they could settle, but pay him in boneless wings. So he says they're lying to him. But imagine you sit down with a lawyer and the lawyer goes, yes, I will take this case. I think you've really got something there. I think you've really got something. I'm going to take this case and we're going to go all the way, don't make me say it, to the Supreme Court. Because that's what every lawyer wants. I every... want to sub- sue the Supreme Court because <sighs> they don't even have sour cream. That is another good, uh, that's good to point out that yeah. they don't have sour, but how then do you how know are they that? Supreme? If, it, if it doesn't have sour cream, how is it a Supreme Court? It's just the court. Hmm. If you, just, so if you just order, the sour cream. If you order a Supreme, it has sour cream with it. No, not if you order it the way Pound Cake orders. No, yeah. that only comes that way. Yeah, it, it makes me angry. So it should just be like a superior crunch wrap. Now Wait, how do you, I thought you ordered yours wrap. with no tomato, no sour cream. That, that's correct. Yeah. I, I should. Because it's a crunch wrap supreme. But there's no mm-hmm. option to like <clears throat> get the crunch wrap. Like if they just had the crunch wrap, then I could get it. Oh, they don't have a ground level crunch wrap. Correct. Right. It's I only see. the crunch wrap supreme. Gotcha. We have it. ground level courts and then they say this is the supreme court. They have a superior But there's court too. no sour cream. How do you know? I've been there. When? At, all the time. All the time. You just hang out at the Supreme I've been, Court? I'm all always, the time. I've been to the going same. to Supreme Court. You, you know that. Out. Yeah, because I think there's going to be sour cream there, and there's not, and i got to leave. Go somewhere else. What about the tomatoes? You're only upset about the sour cream. Wait, the are you talking about- Much more- Are you talking about you go around to state Supremes Court? Uh, Supreme Courts? You're not talking about federal. S- state, federal, whatever. Well, there's only one do, federal. You're going to state Supreme Courts state looking Supreme for sour courts. cream. I've been to the federal Supreme Court. I'm going to try and find some sour cream in a court- and Have you been to Wisconsin none. Supreme Court? Yes. They're big on dairy there. It's all yeah, cheese they, curds, no know, sour cream. They, no no mm. sour cream. It's false advertising. Let's sue them. Do you want now, them to have a pump of it, like at a baseball game, with the ketchup and the mustard? I just want a dollop. Just a dollop of Daisy? Yeah. Hmm. I don't think it's too much to ask from your Supreme Court. It's, at, it, it's, in the, it's implied that there is sour cream when you call something Supreme. If you find one in your travels... Mm-hmm. Is it safe to say that you'll pick up and move there? 
There's a good chance. Yeah. Well, because they have the same core beliefs as you. Mm-hmm. X has so. marked the spot, and when he finally finds that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. But so far, I've been to 38 of them. No sour cream. 38 of them. Yeah. Wow. He hasn't gone to Alaska or Hawaii yet. Well, he, so far, he's just contiguous. I did a Zoom call with uh, Alaska, but they didn't. They didn't answer. They didn't uh, oh, confirm whether or not they had sour you. cream. They were kind of dancing around it. Hello, Alaska. Yeah. It's me, Bill Squire. Hmm. <coughs> Buffalo Wild Wings tweeted out, crypto is just boneless money. <coughs> Not sure if that what the what the guy's looking for. Decaf is just boneless coffee. Well, hmm. I bet they might win because there's probably some sort of composition that makes up a chicken nugget versus a boneless wing. Well, this is what the guy contends. He goes, hey, listen, this isn't just words we're talking about here because their competitors are very careful to properly label their meat chunks. Papa John's has chicken poppers, Domino's, they call it boneless chicken, so that they're not hauled into court, supreme or otherwise. So who's your point of contact? I'm, I'm fascinated now with these repeat trips to state supreme courts. Uh, do, you, do you walk in? Is there is there a paralegal? Is there is there a docent? Is there some kind of person who goes... Well, there's who, a docent. <laughs> They have an information they desk. Got no sense, all right. Do you really have to scream at someone? He walks in the lobby and says, yeah, tell me I how object. I do things. And then they're like, Tell oh, me how the, I do things. The sour Mary. cream guy's here. This is how I'm imagining it. You're imagining it. You don't know what I actually do. I think that's what you do. Is that not what you do? No, I go and you dress tell... like a judge. <laughs> you have I, a robe? I have a robe. I have a gavel in a case. Mm-hmm. Not even a lot of ju- judges should have a case for their gavel, but they don't. They don't proper. Yeah. They don't properly store their gavels. I have a, a case, and so when they're like, "What's in there?" I open it up, and I'm like, "It's a gavel." And they're like, "Oh, you're obviously a judge." So then I go in to the and, chambers. Yeah. The, the judge's chamber, chambers. The judge's chambers behind behind the, the court. courtroom. Yeah. yeah. And I'm hanging out in there usually, uh, just getting hyped up for some sour cream, and then I was going to say, call in, me in. But in the wake of January sixth, you've never been tackled. Walking in, I mean, a I have a gavel and a robe. <laughs> well, uh, and I saw a guy with a podium walking through the Capitol. He stole out. that, but he stole He's that. They don't know out. which direction if you're he, walking. They, they know what. They they know which direction. And Any direction you're pointed, there's going to be an exit ahead of you. His podium was not in a case. Mm-hmm. Bill's gavel is in a case. That it looks guy, more official. That guy's defense. I wish front- I had my gavel right now because I would totally. <laughs> Agree. Agree, yeah. yeah. That guy's defense was that he was carrying the podium to his podium case. Mm. And they didn't believe him. To bring well, it back inside. He should have had a robe on. I but on a robe, robes you can get... called something. I uh, believe they're just called uh, robes, right? I Justice's they had, like, robes. A funny name. Well, I don't know. A cassock? That would be more of a Dressing. religious thing. I don't know. So, yeah, I get in there and then I wait for them to. Gown! Get things going, yeah. My gown. My gown. Judges and lawyers gown. wear a long black robe termed as the gown. The, the gown. gown. I'm in the gown. <laughs> Bill, put and on that, your gown. And I and it's what's kind of annoying about the gown is it's black, and what I'm looking for is sour cream, which is white. So if he gets on there, well, it's, it's, that's gonna be tough. That's gonna be tough to hide that stain. But I'll be careful. Mm-hmm. But so far, wouldn't, I've gone into all these different courtrooms. No, sorry. Wouldn't that imply that some of these more conservative justices might run afoul of local drag laws? Oh, yeah, they're all in gowns. They're up there in a gown. They've got that doily around the neck, or was that more of an RBG type thing? Um, The doily. Does Clarence Thomas wear a doily around his neck? I don't think neck? so. No? No, that was to What about all, Alito? All her I don't know. Makeup. Still gowns, though. They're all gowns. They could call them robes. They vernacular, it says colloquial. Both. You could call them robes. They opt not to. They go, no, no, no. This is my judicial gown. Gown they go with. This is my court dress. Maybe and I look gown. pretty in it. Okay, so the men don't have doilies, but they have collars. They have white collars. Well, there aren't a lot of blue collar justices. That's for sure. Hey, you can. Um, anyway, Bill, please, if you'll pardon a small pun, please keep us abreast. Of your uh, continuing um, quest to Overruled. find <laughs> to find a supreme court, you you're, know they they call him the seeker. You're a crumb catcher. He's a chamber chaser. Yeah. God, this show's falling apart. Well, he's not chasing the chamber. He is. 
Because he thinks that's why they keep the sour truth. cream. I'm a sour cream truther. That's what I am. Oh, it is. And what form does that take? It takes going to Supreme Courts and demanding that they start adding sour cream. Have any of them to taken what? you? Have any of them to t- their me. gowns? <laughs> to their me. Gow- that's what I'm asking. Is is it like when you get up and you swear on the Bible instead of swearing on the Bible, you swear on a tub of Daisy? No, you could, but you should be able to have a little dollop of sour cream to put, but like dip your hand in and then put on the Bible. Okay, that's what makes it. Supreme. I wouldn't swear on a Bible though. That's what I'm saying. Is that your option? You can come to regular uh, court and swear on the Bible, or you can come to su- Supreme Court and swear on sour cream. Would you swear with sour cream? Would you? It's not the whole meal. Would you settle for them just adding sour cream to what I assume is the uh, court commissary? No, it's got to be in the actual in the courtroom. In the it's got to be in the courtroom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, when it's a Supreme Court it should have mm. sour cream. And if they win, can they throw tomatoes like confetti? What does that have to do with anything? Tomatoes and sour cream is what makes it supreme. You guys, you, if you're going to be a stickler, you got to be a stickler all the way through. You can't just pick one. Tomatoes what if these, give me heartburn. I, Bill, what if you <laughs> what if you've discovered that you've wasted your time because these- I've sub- never wasted any time at <laughs> all. Definitely not 20 minutes. I'll tell you that much. Because, who's counting? <laughs> uh, oh, I am. I've got to go to a break. Um, what if all of you're these- You're welcome. What if all of these courts, by the way, are only concerned with pizza- Ooh. There is no sour cream on a Supreme Pizza. Well, then it should be called a Supreme Pizza Court. But it's not called a. But they're not called the Supreme court. Crunch Wrap Court. Yeah, but it's it's more it's semantics. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it Where's is semantics. Gavel? Where's your gavel? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> overruled. <laughs> no, I don't get to redirect. You can't overrule me. <laughs> do they wear? I, the, I'm going to find you in contempt. Do they wear the powdered wigs? Well, no. What about barristers? I just need some sour cream in the court. Anywhere in the court. Yeah. They could mop up with it. Just throw some in there and some tomatoes to make Mary happy. I, it's not, I'm just saying, if you're going to be a stickler, you got to cover your bases, dude. I'm looking out for you here. Okay. Well, Pound Cake has wisely recused himself from the whole conversation because well, he, doesn't he, have a a I, I, he doesn't he have doesn't a dog in that fight. He doesn't have a dog in that fight. Cream. That's he, right. Yeah. The only Supreme I know is Jessica Lang from. American Horror Story, Coven, mm-hmm. my best season ever. The worst season of that it show was ever. The best? Are you kidding me? That's what gays do: munch butts and celebrate Halloween. Whatever. There you go. I, the I great just, Jessica Lange from American Horror Story. I recently watched like the last three episodes because it was that good. That's mm-hmm. the only one I go back to. Mm-hmm. I've got to take a break, and um, uh, not a minute too soon. If you want to send a text, three five one nine two to do that. Listen wherever you are on the iHeartRadio app. Two hours to midnight. The new metal show 